Yeah. No, forget about that. I'm, you guys can watch that. Um, okay, so this is a center and a left guard. Okay, this is a center and a left guard. This is an inside zone combination on a two eye. Now, I've heard people speak where they, they coach all of their zone combinations is like covered, uncovered. And they say they're all interchangeable. I don't believe that. And here's why I don't believe that. I don't believe that because every one of these combinations has a different relationship to the ball. So the center and the left guard combination on an inside zone play to the left is different than a left guard, left tackle combination on an inside zone play to the left. I don't think they're the same because the ball is in a different spot in relation to the blocks and that matters. So when I drill, I say, all right, here we go. These are two eye combinations. Here we go. Center, left guard, you got her up. Everybody else on defense. And we do two eye combinations, inside zone, then outside zone. And then I'll show you the other ones as we go. But what are we trying to do? So this is an inside zone play. So you're going to see the guard is going to kind of pick it up, put it down, or settle, and then lift with his shoulder, right? Contact surface should be the shoulder, top of the shoulder, bottom of the number. Top of the shoulder, bottom of the number. We're trying to lift that guy's pads up in the air. And then the center is going to strike the near number, and we're going to push this guy vertical and try and get the linebacker to commit play side because it's an inside zone play that should roll back off of that combination. And if you talk to Coach Choice, Coach Choice will tell you that his guys are looking at that linebacker. They're looking at him. All right, so here it is. Center, left guard. Here we go. Two eye combinations. Make him commit. Push that thing vertical until he commits. Pretty good. Okay, here we go. Let's watch another one. Center and a right guard. Okay, this guy, now the guy slants out. Take him out. It's an inside zone play. Here it comes. Perfect. Okay, here's center and a left guard. Different players. Same combination. This one gets thrown. I don't worry about that. I don't... It doesn't matter to me. I, I critique all the plays. I don't just critique the ones that get handed off because we don't get to decide as offensive line coaches when the ball is going to get handed off or not. So to me, I want to know if we're doing it right, whether the ball gets handed off or not. And that's, that's a, whole, like a whole different conversation. How do you actually evaluate your run game nowadays? Because I think it's different than it was 10 years ago. Lift that shoulder. There it is. Lift him up. The covered offensive lineman's job in any double team is to lift the shoulders of the defensive lineman up. The uncovered lineman's job is to create the movement. So all I want this left guard to do is pick it up, put it down, and lift, and pop that guy's shoulders straight up in the air. And now when the center gets there, you'll get all the movement you want. 